The name of the movie is Bullet Train. The film, set in the heart of Japan, opens with a chilling scene. A child is on the brink of death, trapped in a deep coma. His father, Yuichi, watches over him, his heart heavy with sorrow. The truth is hard to swallow. Someone attempted to murder his son by throwing him off a high-rise building. This attack, rather than killing the boy, left him in this dire situation. Yuichi's father also pays a visit, his face etched with worry. Together, they are united in a single, burning desire, revenge. Enter our main character, a mysterious figure known as Ladybug. A professional who works as a personal contractor, but he's no ordinary contractor. He is a seasoned hitman. We meet him as he strolls the busy streets of the city, engaged in conversation with Maria, his mission controller. Ladybug has been entrusted with a simple but dangerous task board the bullet train and steal a briefcase. The briefcase, easily identifiable by a unique sticker on the handle, was initially assigned to another contractor named Carver. However, Carver's poor health forced him to back out of the job. With his mission clear, Ladybug makes his way to the train station. He prepares himself and steps aboard the bullet train. Unknown to him, Yuichi is also on the train, guided by a cryptic note from his son's would-be murderer. To his surprise, instead of a hardened criminal, he finds a young, seemingly innocent girl. Apologetic and flustered, Yuichi is caught off guard as the girl suddenly tases him, knocking him unconscious. This is no ordinary girl. This is Prince, a deceptively charming young woman who uses her innocent appearance to carry out her deeds. Elsewhere on the train, two other characters surface, Lemon and Tangerine, a pair of professional assassin brothers. They have been hired by a man known as White Death a formidable figure who commands one of the world's largest crime syndicates. White Death's mission for Lemon and Tangerine is twofold, recover his son and retrieve a briefcase filled with millions of his dollars. Meanwhile, Ladybug locates the briefcase in the luggage rack at the end of the carriage, following Maria's instructions relayed through an earpiece. Unbeknownst to him, the briefcase belongs to Lemon and Tangerine, the deadly assassin brothers who are also aboard the bullet train. The plot thickens when Lemon, checking the luggage rack, realizes the briefcase is missing. Not one to panic, Lemon remains more concerned about delivering White Death's son alive, per their mission. This prompts Tangerine to explain the dangerous nature of their task by recounting the dark tale of White Death's rise to power. This tale begins with a man named Menegishi, a fearsome yet loyal leader, who once ruled the Japanese underworld. One day, a member of the Russian Mafia infiltrated Menegishi's clan and climbed the ranks to become an advisor. Despite the other advisor's distrust and warnings, Menegishi remained steadfast in his trust in this man. This proved to be his downfall. The Russian defector, now known as White Death, formed his own gang and eliminated Menegishi and his crew in a single, brutal night. The story ends with White Death reigning as a ruthless, soulless killer head of the world's most formidable crime syndicate. Upon hearing this, Lemon finally grasps the severity of their situation, they must recover the briefcase immediately. However, they return to a more dire situation, White Death's son is dead, with a bleeding from his eyes. Meanwhile, Yuichi awakens to find Prince, who threatens the life of his comatose son. Prince has pieced together that Yuichi recently delivered a briefcase for White Death. By threatening his son and sending a cryptic message, she forced Yuichi onto the train, aiming to use him to track down White Death. To force him, she has placed her own henchman at the hospital where Yuichi's son is at. The catch? The henchman will kill the already in coma son of Yuichi if he refuses to help Prince. In another twist, Ladybug, who has fled to a different carriage, prepares to leave at the next station. His plan hinders by the presence of Wolf, a fellow contractor. A tragic past links these two, at Wolf's wedding, guests were poisoned and for this tragedy, Wolf blames Ladybug. A heated battle ensues, resulting in Wolf's accidental death by his own knife. Concurrently, the brothers, Lemon and Tangerine, also prepare to disembark in an attempt to recover the lost briefcase. Lemon stands guard at the exit, checking each passenger. Recognizing Lemon as an old foe who once tried to kill him, Ladybug decides to exit from another door. Unfortunately, it's too late, the doors close and the train resumes its journey. Back in the bar carriage, Ladybug hides the briefcase and tries to figure out his next move. He spots Tangerine searching for the briefcase. Thinking quickly, he decides to hide in the luggage rack. To his relief, although Tangerine spots him, 
he doesn't recognize Ladybug from their previous encounter and moves along. As the train speeds through, the tension builds and the stakes continue to rise. Tangerine accidentally encounters Prince and Yuichi. He asks them about the missing briefcase, and Prince gives him a description of Ladybug, who she had spotted earlier. Meanwhile, Lemon takes his seat again, receiving a message from Tangerine about Ladybug just as the man himself sits across from him. Rather than causing chaos, Ladybug proposes a trade, the briefcase returned, his life spared. While Lemon is tempted, his belief that Ladybug killed White Death's son ignites a fight, but Ladybug successfully knocks him out. Ladybug seizes the chance to grab Lemon's phone before fleeing from the scene. Ladybug cleverly swaps clothes with another passenger to throw Tangerine off his trail. Elsewhere, Prince and Yuichi find the hidden briefcase in the bar, retreating to the bathroom where Yuichi works on cracking the briefcase's combination. Soon, Yuichi successfully opens the briefcase. However, Prince's interest lies not in the money, but in placing a bomb inside with the intention of killing White Death a testament to her deep-seated hatred towards him. Eventually, Tangerine locates Ladybug and a contest begins. In the midst of their battle, Tangerine's fight is interrupted by a call from one of White Death's henchmen. The order is clear, get off at the next station with the briefcase, or the entire train's passengers die. As Tangerine gets lost in a dilemma as he currently doesn't know where Lemon exactly is, Ladybug proposes a plan. Since the gangsters have no idea what Lemon looks like, Ladybug will pretend to be him. They commence with the plan and exit the train at the next station, carrying a decoy briefcase. However, their plan crumbles when the briefcase accidentally opens, revealing the lack of money inside. Before they're apprehended by White Death's men, Ladybug and Tangerine make a break for it, managing to reboard the train just in time. The roller coaster ride of the movie continues, with Lemon coming face to face with Yuichi and Prince. Prince attempts to play innocent when Lemon asks about a man carrying a suspicious case. But Lemon isn't easily fooled. When Prince mentions not seeing a briefcase, a detail he didn't mention, Lemon's suspicion intensifies, believing that she's a part of the plot. To terrify her and get the truth, Lemon shoots Yuichi. He turns to Prince next, but the sleeping powder Ladybug had previously dosed him with finally takes effect, causing him to lose consciousness. Prince seizes the opportunity to take Lemon's gun, shoot him, and hide him in the bathroom. At the next station, Ladybug gives Tangerine the location of the hidden briefcase and tries to leave the train. However, Tangerine refuses to let him go, still in need of a scapegoat. Left with no choice, Ladybug kicks Tangerine off the moving train. But this is far from the end for Tangerine, who runs after the departing train, manages to leap onto its tail, and re-enters through a broken window. Meanwhile, Ladybug returns to the bar. After locating the rigged briefcase exactly where he left it, he examines Wolf's body for any clues. He uncovers a shocking truth, a woman known as Hornet, who was responsible for the poisoning scandal at Wolf's wedding, has been hiding in the mascot costume all along and was the actual murderer of White Death's son. However, Hornet finds Ladybug first. As they fight, Hornet reveals that she was promised the briefcase's money. In a quick turnaround, Ladybug stabs her with her own poison needle, causing the now all too familiar sight of blood oozing from her eyes. He leaves her to meet her fate. Meanwhile, Tangerine stumbles upon the bathroom, where he discovers Lemon's unconscious body. Stricken with grief, he drapes his necklace around Lemon's neck and leaves to avenge his brother. Tangerine runs into Prince next, who tries her innocent girl act once again, even fabricating a tearful tale. Initially, Tangerine falls for her act, but upon noticing a sticker of the character Diesel on her back, a token left by Lemon, he understands that Prince has been the villain all along. He attempts to shoot her, but at that precise moment, Ladybug appears. Taken in by Prince's convincing act, he pounces on Tangerine to prevent him from shooting her. Amidst the struggle, the gun goes off accidentally, ending Tangerine's life in a tragic twist. As the film approaches its climax, the train nears the next station. Ladybug, still under the impression that Prince is an innocent girl, vows to protect her. Meanwhile, Yuichi's father boards the train, searching for his missing son. Recognizing Prince's voice from a phone call interruption, he joins her and Ladybug. In a twist, Yuichi's father identifies Prince as the one responsible for pushing his grandson off a roof. Prince tries to justify her actions, explaining she needed Yuichi's help to kill the White Death. 
and involving the innocent boy in this dangerous plot seem to be the only way to get to Yuichi. She tries to convince Yuichi's father that both his son and grandson are dead, but the man remains unfazed. He reveals he left a bodyguard at the hospital, who has already taken care of Prince's henchmen. Caught off guard, Prince escapes to another carriage, leaving Ladybug alone with Yuichi's father. Yuichi's father decides to open up about his past. As a young man, he was a key member of the Menejishi crime family and had narrowly escaped an assault by the White Death. Returning home to find his wife murdered and his house in ruins, the only survivor was his son Yuichi. He then went into hiding, concentrating his efforts on plotting revenge against the White Death, who always seemed elusive. However, fate seems to have finally given him an opportunity by leading him to this train. Together, the men decide to collaborate and make their way to the bathroom. There, they find that Yuichi and Lemon are actually alive, thanks to Lemon's bulletproof vest. As they bid farewell to Tangerine's body, Yuichi reminds Lemon that their survival depends on their united stand against the White Death. Soon, the train reaches its destination, where the White Death awaits with his horde of assassins. Ladybug steps out carrying the briefcase, hoping to distract them and buy the team some time. However, the henchmen capture him soon. Meanwhile, the White Death boards the train and encounters Prince. In a shocking revelation, it turns out that Prince is actually his daughter. He had always wished for a son, which led him to name her Prince, a gesture she deeply hated. Disgusted by her father's maltreatment and neglect, Prince has resolved to exact her revenge by killing her own father, who, in her eyes, had never truly been a dad figure. Prince anticipates her father to seize the rigged gun from her, but since she has rigged it, when he tries to shoot her, the gun will shoot backwards and kill him instead. But to her surprise, he refrains from shooting and killing her. He admits she was never a big deal neither in his life nor his mind. White Death proceeds to inspect the status of the briefcase, revealing a shocking truth. All the assassins on the train were actually his hires, intended to destroy each other. This was part of White Death's plot to avenge his wife's death. She was tragically killed in a car when the killers mistook her for the White Death. In his quest for revenge, White Death orchestrated this deadly setup, getting all the assassins aboard the bullet train in hopes they would eliminate each other. The presence of Ladybug, however, was a mistake. White Death's actual target was Carver, the assassin responsible for his wife's murder. Meanwhile, chaos ensues as Yuichi and his father fight off the gangsters searching for White Death. Meanwhile, Lemon, showing immense courage, manages to restart the train amidst the turmoil. Elsewhere, the henchmen finally manage to open the briefcase, setting off the hidden bomb. The explosion throws Ladybug, White Death, and several of his crew members onto the train just as it speeds off again. In a thrilling display of action, Yuichi's father, fueled by a desperate need for revenge against White Death, battles with his long-standing enemy. Just when it appears he is about to lose, Yuichi comes to his father's rescue, hitting White Death back. This gives Yuichi's father the perfect chance to beat White Death and end his evil reign once and for all. In another part of the train, Ladybug makes it to the control room, where he and Lemon wrestle with the incoming henchmen. They manage to fight the henchmen off the train, with Lemon falling into a nearby river in the process. Ladybug, left behind, frantically attempts to stop the speeding train by cutting some wires. This, however, results in the train derailing and crashing. Through the chaos, Yuichi and his father manage to hang on for dear life, saving themselves from the violent crash. Ladybug, too, survives the impact, cushioned by the soft mascot costume. As they climb out from the ruins of the crash, they come face to face with the tough white death who has somehow lived through Yuichi's father's attack. But his fate is sealed when he falls for the trick of Prince's trapped gun, bringing about his own end, not to return this time round. Just when they think it's safe to depart, Prince appears, ready to replace her father. But she is unexpectedly hit by a truck. The truck's driver, it turns out, is Lemon. As the dust settles and the film comes to a close, Yuichi and his father bid farewell and disappear into the distance. Finally, Maria arrives on the scene to meet Ladybug, marking the end of the treacherous journey on the bullet train. The bullet train serves as a stark reminder that life is a non-stop journey filled with unexpected twists and turns. Each character in the movie had their own tale of revenge and survival, reminding us that in the end, everyone is the hero of their own story. The tale, much like the bullet train itself, moves at a breathtaking pace, holding us captive until the very last second. 
If you want interesting movie recaps like these, like, share, and subscribe to follow us for more movie recaps.